In this demo, we'll be talking about using Portworx Backup as a data protection solution for on-premises Kubernetes applications. We will be using FlashBlade as our backup location on-premises, and we'll be backing up and restoring to a production cluster using FlashArray and to a test cluster using Rancher Kubernetes. Here you can see the PX Backup UI. First, we're going to log in. Once you log in, you'll see access to your clusters that you have attached to your PX Backup instance. In this case, we have our on-prem rancher cluster, our on-prem production cluster that we'll be working with. In cloud settings, we have already set up our cloud accounts and backup locations for FlashBlade. If we look at the FlashBlade cloud account, you can see it's configured with the access key and secret key when you create an account and bucket within FlashBlade. If we look at the backup location for FlashBlade, you can see that it's using the FlashBlade cloud account and the FlashBlade bucket. As the endpoint, it's using the data VIP. If we go over to our FlashBlade UI here and head over to Object Store, we can see our account and our bucket located here. You can see it's already being used by referencing the object count. Now, if we go into our production cluster and select the namespace of the application, Mongo NS, this is our Mongo database that we'll be working with today for our data protection demo. It consists of a stateful set config map service, persistent volume claim, and a secret. All of these objects and the data within the persistent volume will be backed up. You can see here we have a three worker node, one master node cluster. Inside our Mongo database, we can use the test database and see how many records we have in it. You can see here we have roughly 29,000 records, and we'll make sure that this data is consistent when we restore it back to on prem and to our rancher cluster. Now, to back it up, we click the backup button in the top right of our screen. We give the backup a name. In this case, production backup one. We select our flash blade backup location. We're not going to do a, a schedule for this backup. So it's just a single backup. We can optionally choose pre and post exec rules. In this case, we're going to leave those empty for now. And we can add a label of production equals true. You can see the resources that it's going to target and back up before you click create. After you create, the operation will go into a pending state. This is where it's gathering the resources and the volumes it needs to back up. It will quickly move into a in progress state which the resources and the volumes will begin to back up. If you refresh it, you might catch it. In this case, we don't have much data, so it immediately goes to the success. And this means that it's backed up this application from our on-prem Kubernetes cluster to FlashBlade. Contains 151 megabytes of storage and contains everything that we need in the Mongo namespace. We can confirm this by actually looking at our FlashBlade directory and navigating to our FlashBlade PX backup bucket. In this bucket, you'll see the Mongo namespace folder containing the files that were just backed up. You can see production back 01 with an ID at the end. And this contains all the resources and information about the application within it. So now that we've confirmed that our backup did successfully create, we're going to go ahead and restore the backup. Click Restore Backup from this window and give the restore a name. And select the destination namespace. In this case, we're going to 
create a new namespace in our production cluster called Mongo NS Duplicate One. We're going to make sure and replace existing resources in case that namespace does exist. And our back to prod restoration starts. Refresh to see the resources and volumes in progress. And after some time, you will see the namespace become available in the production cluster. If we get the namespaces Mongo, we can see our new namespace was recently created as part of this restore. Our restore is now successful, so our application should be coming online within this namespace. If we run the same command, but change the namespace to enter our Mongo database, this is our new restored MongoDB, and we can run the same commands to make sure the count is the same. Here you can see the roughly 29,000 records are the same, so our restore did work fine. Now we can take the same backup that restored back to production and restore to a new cluster. In this case, we have another on-premises cluster running Rancher. So let's select on-prem Rancher from our destination cluster list. Here you can see that Rancher cluster here. And if we go into projects and namespaces, we can actually do a quick search to make sure that the Mongo namespace does not exist. We do have a Mongo NS restored from a previous test case, but this is what we'll use to make sure we're restoring to a fresh cluster. In this case, click Custom Restore and give a namespace that does not yet exist on the destination cluster. So we know that Mongo NS to Rancher namespace does not exist on the destination cluster, so we don't have to click Replace Existing Resources. Click Restore, and this operation will go pending. Again, the volumes and then the resources will be restored to the destination cluster, and we can view the progress within the backup UI or the Rancher cluster itself. Here you can see our new namespace is now active and very recently created as part of the restore. If we move this namespace to a project, Mongo, we can interact with the containers within it. Head over to the Mongo project and navigate to the new namespace that was part of your store. We can see one pod was created and is now running a few seconds ago as part of our restore. We can enter this pod and navigate into our MongoDB to check the records to make sure that the data is intact and we see the same amount of records. So let's use the test database and count the records in the zips collection. Here you can see the roughly 29,000 records indicate that a restore of the application and data worked as expected. So this is backup and restore with FlashBlade and PX Backup on-prem. Until next time, take care.